kickoff to the 2013 high school football season is just a few short weeks away, and for many teams, practices have already begun. But this year, players from Park Center High School will have a new tool that's designed to help improve player safety. 12 News reporter Delane Cleveland explains. Championships aren't won in the offseason, but it takes every bit of offseason preparation to put teams in the position to succeed. Good try, good route. At the end of the day, and nobody had more fun than we do. Good job, Joe. Park Center High School coach Ricky Foggy expects improvement this year, both on the field. These guys out here working hard and giving it all they got, and that's what we're about. Go. And from the standpoint of safety. We take every uh, precautionary measures to to protect these kids at all costs. The new precautionary measure for this group of players comes yeah, in the form of a can, gel. You can pump these up. Which, which provides an extra layer of padding in the football helmets. When you make contact with somebody else, it's a softer impact to your head. Adam Bergie is a junior defensive back on the team. My mom, is. she, she always says, make sure you get the best helmet when, you, when we were picking equipment. And he calls the new helmets a significant upgrade to what the team had in the past. Well, I feel like it's going to uh, prevent concussions more because the gel padding is a uh, softer impact on your head when you get hit and I just feel like it's going to be a better safer helmet to wear. One, Player two, safety three. is a primary concern at the Minnesota State High School League. Helmets were really designed to prevent skull fractures and that's what they do. And while associate director Kevin Merkel says head injuries are a hot topic, Let it go, Lawrence. he stresses that an improved helmet is no magic bullet. Right now the information we get at the national levels, they don't feel there's any products out there that prevent concussions. Oh boy. Yet an improved helmet doesn't hurt. Good catch, young buck. Even coach Foggy will say that ultimately it comes down to how you play the game. And that all comes with tackling techniques and uh, good fundamentals of uh, football and teaching these kids the right way. Park Center has 120 of the gel helmets on hand and officials with the Osseo School District say they bought similar helmets for Maple Grove and Osseo High School as well. Mike and Alex, the helmets have received pretty positive reviews so far, but uh, they'll really be put to the test on Thursday. That's when the players will start doing the full contact drills. So, yeah, we'll see what happens. They won't even be thinking about the helmets. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah. <laughs> but the moms will, yeah. right? Yes, they will. <laughs> Thanks, Delaney.